Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are once again, for probably the last time here, going to be talking about that major snowstorm that's going to be moving across the United States from the Rockies through the plains into the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes and eventually even into the northern, northeastern United States. <music> Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I want to know. Do you think this will be our last major snowstorm this year, or do you think we will have one or two more? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's hop right into things, and first things first, we're taking a look at our current radar, actually, with this snowstorm. So we can see that this is already uh, partially underway here as we're speaking, uh, and this is a very interesting situation we find ourselves in. Very, very cool uh, we do have some moderate to heavy snowfall coming down for portions of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, and that is even towards the end of that, pushing in through Iowa as well. Uh, so this is a six-hour uh, radar run here, so we're seeing a huge time frame here of this snowstorm just moving down and intensifying. Uh, and what we're actually expecting to happen is that area in the plains is going to become more uh, lighter and lighter and lighter until it's just snow showers. We're expecting more of the Rockies uh, moving into the southern Rockies to really get the more concentrated area of snowfall, and eventually that'll move in through the plains. But for now, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa are seeing some snowfall already with this one. So very interesting to see this one already underway. That's why this will likely, like I said, be the last update for this snowstorm we're talking about today. So let's just hop right into the models now. So we're just going to take a look at what's upcoming, what we're expecting with this one. As you can see, this was what it kind of looked like towards the beginning of the radar frame we just took a look at here on the European model. And this is kind of where we're at now uh, with the Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Iowa getting some snowfall there. So that's about 11 a.m. Uh, on Monday. That's what this model is expecting, although it's about 740 right now, and that's kind of what it looks like now. As we move towards about 2 a.m. tonight, so this is going to be moving into Tuesday, April 20th, you can tell that this one moves mostly into the southern Rockies there, as you can see. Mostly Colorado and a little bit of Nebraska and Kansas there are getting some snowfall as well. That's kind of the bullseye here for the beginning of this storm. The southern Rockies, I think, will be the most impacted early spot for this storm. Even though we have a massive trough and basically an Arctic blast moving into the northern central United States, by the time we're reaching about 8 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, April 20th, you can see that we do have that snowfall still for Colorado, but mostly now for Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska there, seeing some of it, mostly Kansas for sure there, seeing that heaviest area of snowfall here by this point. And then eventually, by the time we're taking a look at about 3 p.m. tomorrow on Tuesday, April 20th, you can tell Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan seeing the most of the snowfall here by this point as it kind of curves more towards a northerly direction as it heads up into the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes. And like I said, it will eventually move into the northeast as well in a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a more easterly view and take a look at the tail end of this storm. And then we're going to move to a very high resolution NAM 3KM model to take a look at the very uh, realistic simulated radar in just a moment. Now, I forgot to remind you guys earlier, but I did make a Patreon post over on our Patreon page about this snowstorm, going a little bit more in depth. Uh, so you can check that out in the description and in the pinned comments down below on our Patreon page. It's very cheap. It's cheaper than the price of a coffee. So I'd highly recommend you go check it out today uh, and you can get, you know, access to those posts that usually complement our videos a little bit. We go a little bit more in depth over there uh, and just give you the straight up uh, information over there. So if you want that quicker information, you can head over there and check that out today. Uh, you can try it for one month, and if you don't like it, you can always, always cancel, of course. Now, by the time we're taking a look at about 11 p.m., that's what we're taking a look at now, uh, and that's going to be the very end of Tuesday. You could tell that Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and even western, northwestern Ohio there, southern Michigan, getting the heaviest of that snowfall. Eventually, by about 8 a.m. there on Wednesday, April 21st, you could tell that that snowfall has shifted further east where we see Kentucky, Ohio mostly, Cleveland right in the bullseye there, uh, northwestern Pennsylvania, and even northern New York, northern Vermont, New northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. It seems like it's going to be a little colder for that northeastern area of the snowfall, so I'm expecting a little bit more snowfall to be possible over there than originally anticipated, because as you can see by about 3 p.m. here on Wednesday, we have heavy snowfall coming down for upstate New York there, especially around the Adirondacks, so very, a very interesting setup we see. Uh, for that region and a 997 millibar low pressure center there over southern Vermont crazy crazy system we see here by the time we're taking a look at about 2 a.m there on Thursday you can see that this one has moved into Maine a 990 millibar low pressure center mostly with some snowfall to the north of there and also to the west of there for Vermont New Hampshire where we could see some back end snowfall with this one 
uh, by temperature can look about 8 a.m., you can see this one has just moved further eastward, uh, and at pretty much after that point, it's going to have moved out almost entirely. Now, as we're taking a look at about 8 a.m. here on Thursday, I wanted to show you guys how cold those temperatures will be. This is compared to normal. So anywhere in the greens, we're at about 10 to 15 degrees below normal temperatures here uh, on Thursday morning. That's only three days from now. Anywhere in those blues that you can tell are mostly around for the Ohio Valley and the Appalachian Mountain Range, that's where we're 15 to 30 degrees below normal. That area in Ohio there where it gets really dark blue, that's where we're at about 25 degrees below normal, so very far below normal temperatures here. And here's the actual temperatures for that same time frame, Thursday morning. Uh, and you can see widespread 20s, upper 20s, mid 20s uh, for the Ohio Valley, the interior eastern United States, uh, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes. So this is going to possibly be a hard freeze for many regions very late in the season here, uh, even teens there possibly for Indiana and Ohio. So a very extreme cool down is expected uh, alongside this snowstorm. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at that extremely high resolution NAM 3KM model. Now let's just take a look at that very high resolution NAM 3KM model. And this is going to be by about 11 a.m. this morning. And as you can see, it looks very accurate here. Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa getting some snow, snow showers basically here by this point. Let's just take this and this is going to be right around 10 p.m. or so here, maybe 9 p.m. there on Monday, April 19th, which is today. Uh, and as you can see, most of that snowfall, like I said, is going to transition down into the southern Rockies. Wyoming and Colorado seeing some heavy snowfall, even in through a little bit of Nebraska. And we do see some snow showers extending way further east than that. Uh, but mostly by about 4 a.m. tonight, heading into Tuesday, April 20th, obviously. Uh, we're going to see still Colorado seeing some snowfall, but now mostly Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Missouri there as well. So a very, very widespread snowfall event. Uh, and then by the time we're reaching approximately 2 p.m. on Tuesday, April 20th, tomorrow, you can see Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois, northern Indiana, and southern Michigan are getting a lot of that snowfall. So it will have moved mostly into the Ohio Valley. And you might have noticed by this point already that this looks extremely similar to that European model. And that's because it is extremely similar to that European model, which increases our confidence and makes us feel really good about what these models are calling for. Now, by the time we're reaching about 12 a.m. heading into Wednesday, April 21st, you can see that a little bit of Kentucky is getting some snowfall, Indiana, northern Ohio, including Cleveland, getting some very heavy snowfall potentially uh, with this snowstorm. This will eventually push up into the northeastern United States, bringing the uh, upstate New York region some snowfall northern Vermont as well, even some thunderstorms potentially on the east coast there to the south of there. By this point, we have to move over to a little bit of a lower resolution version of the NAM model because it, it only goes out to hours uh, 60 there on the 3KM version. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we still see Pennsylvania, New York seeing some snow showers and then potentially even Connecticut and Massachusetts again, just like with our previous major snowstorm. We also see Vermont and New Hampshire seeing some of that snowfall as well on the very western end. All right, now let's just take a look at the total snowfall according to all of these models. First off, our European model here. And as you can see, we have uh, anywhere in the grades, we're expecting a dusting, if anything. Within the lighter blues, we're expecting two to six inches of snow. And then the purples is kind of where we get towards a plowable snowfall event, six to 10 inches of snow. So plenty of that for the Rockies. And now this model says for upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, especially on the eastern end, we could see that as well. And then within the paints, we're at about 10 to 20 inches of snow. So that's where we're at. Obviously a very major snowstorm by that point. The GFS model has a little bit more snowfall and it keeps things a little bit further south. It's the same thing, grace and uh, dusting if anything, two to six in the blue, uh, six to 10 in the purple. Then the pinks are 10 to 20 inches of snow. You can tell there's a lot more pinks and purples there for the Ohio Valley in the Northeast. Uh, a lot more of a widespread major snowfall event there. According to the GFS model, the Rockies also getting a ton, obviously, as well with this system. Again, it's just a little bit further south, which is very typical of our GFS model here. The Canadian actually looks very similar to the GFS model here, as you can see. Uh, it's hardly any difference. It's a little bit further northwest, which, again, is very typical. But outside of that, it's actually a very similar look. Uh, and then our NAM model is a little bit further north than even the Canadian model, uh, and this one has plenty of those purples for Indiana, Ohio, again, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire as well, even interior Maine, uh, but very widespread blues indicating a very, very widespread snowstorm for all of these states as this major snowstorm just pushes across the entire United States. Anyway, for our confidence tab, we are at a five out of six total. We've upgraded from a four to a five. 
because these models have really come together even further, they look a lot more similar now, which is obviously a great indication that we uh, have a great agreement. And our snowstorm is already underway, so we're seeing this one uh, at a very, very short range from these models. So all of those reasons is why we're at a 5 out of 6. We would be at a 6 out of 6 if it was like perfect agreement, but we're not there yet. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, what is the maximum amount of snowfall you see falling with this one? And weather today said up to 15 inches, and I think that's a great realistic and very conservative number for the snowstorm. So I definitely think that's a good guess there by weather today. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Property Damage, John Mabenek, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Alan Balamo, Adam S, Larry Pan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis. Alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Sherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Garys, and John Qualisi. If you would like to be a part of this patron entry of the day and also receive very awesome posts like the one we made today, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Anyway, for today's channel members highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel also, but especially our weather top dogs, Hair Farms One, and then also our super fan, Phoenix Nimitz. If you'd like to join this, this will be located next to that subscribe button, and this is also a very awesome way to support the channel as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. Also, be sure to destroy the like button, comment down below to help the YouTube algorithm out, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.